Housing is necessary to protect chickens against predators, thieves, bad weather, and to provide shelter for egg-laying and broody hens. The location of the chicken house should be dry and flat. Avoid poorly drained sites, but if that is a challenge, then you have the option of raising the house from the ground. Ensure winds ventilate the house without causing cold. Cold is unfriendly to the birds and particularly for the layers. To protect against buildup of diseases causing agents and parasites, the house must be easily accessible and easy to clean. Chicken houses should have openings on either side for ventilation and a hole or ridge on the roof which will ensure proper ventilation and give light. It is recommended that you have a concrete floor for easy cleaning and disinfection. You'll also need wood shavings for litter and especially in the laying nest. The house is supposed to carry one house and chicken. But when they are separated into two separate houses, one, the management is a bit easier compared when managing the whole flock of a thousand. So the first thing is management. Secondly, because of this of cleaning, that's why we need a corridor and for the movement of the person who is working in the house. Also for cleaning, that's why we have a trench. Actually, it's a drainage back to our house. To design proper housing for your birds, the following guide should apply. If you are just starting, you will need the following on your checklist. Wood shavings and one cock for every 10 hens. Patches are very important for chicken to roost on at night and during the day. Patches also help to stop pecking and fighting. We are having around 8 cages by 5, whereby this one is holding. It can hold if you put there one, one layer. It can accommodate 40 on this side and 40 on this side. But in the deep litter system, we, we recommend that you put each, each, each layer can take a space of two feet per square meter. We normally remove the, the, the litter, depending on the frog, that the, uh, depending on the frog side that is in that house. Like the, this one, it's not squeezed. The chicken are very, uh, very in any comfortable. The, 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 the stocking density is a bit lower compared with what is supposed to be there. So with this litter, we can do after uh, two months two to three months, but on a weekly basis, you have to, to rake, to rake the litter. You turn the litter here using the rake, here. That one is done on a weekly basis because the, 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 the litter sometimes may con the, the, the droppings for who contain ammonia. And so you need to keep raking so that that ammonia does not concentrate on on the on the on the litter or on the room. That is why even we have the big aeration in the centration for free aeration so that there is free free oxygen and carbon dioxide.